So, it's a one-to-one -one epoxy. What does that mean? You're going to measure it at one-to-one. -one. So, 15 ounces of A, 15 ounces of B, and then you're going to mix two minutes. Uh, no nasty smells. It's perfect for working inside of a small bathroom, small trailer. You guys won't notice the smell. The only smell you may smell would be spray paint if you use that. That's or if you burn it. Or if you burn it, right? <laughs> so you can, and why, you need a torch or heat source to remove the air to incorporate into the resin. You're going to see as we mix. And right now, we're not in optimal conditions whatsoever. You want to be level, you know, because it's a fluid product. It's going to self-level. So if you're out of level, everything's going to run all the way. Uh, and the temperature is important. If you're pouring this in winter, you're going to need to keep your trailer warm above 65 degrees for the first few days of curing. It's important those first few days to stay above 65. That's why, like, uh, I was going to help, I don't know your name, I was going to help her do her board there, but it's too cold for a finished product. I'm just demonstrating this. This may, it holds, temperatures make it cure longer. That's about it. And it can be a little softer in the end as it cures. If you can get it, if you, optimal, Conditions are above 72. That's like the best of the best. And okay. then dust free. Yeah, and dust free. Uh, if you can get it above 72 for at least 24 hours after you pour, so that curing process in your first 24 hours, you'll get a really hard cure. If you go below, say 65, honestly, you'll get what we call a soft cure. It will cure, but for the life of the product, it may be a little soft. If you put something heavy, you may get like a little bit. Does it hurt? Does it so this is MDF. We have a little drop edge, one inch, and we take Bondo, we wood glue, pin nail that drop edge down. In the RV, you don't necessarily need to have that for the extra weight. Just do a three-quarter inch sheet if you wish. Uh, we round over the top and bottom edge. That helps the epoxy flow, a real sharp edge. Existing laminate, you don't want that. You're going to want to round that over because then that epoxy is going to flow nice and uniform over those edges. Uh, let's get mixing. So I'm going to mix a full, it's three ounces per square foot. So ounce and a half of A, ounce and a half of B into your bucket. Then you're going to mix for two to three minutes. Midway through, we're going to scrape the side of the bucket for any residual epoxy clinging to those sides. And then mix again for a little bit. That will ensure you start out with a good mix because that's the most important part of epoxy. If you don't start out with a good mix, you're never going to cure right. So a good two minutes. Scrape the sides and then we're gonna uh, mix again. And I like to use a paddle mixer on a drill over there. Uh, that is a real quick and efficient way to uh, do this. This wind is gonna get to this one. blow torch you can even use a blow dryer the blow dryer is ranked third it's the least effective but if that's all you have you really can remove your air bubbles uh you have tons of working time as well with the epoxy once you once you pour part a and b you're on the clock you have about 45 minutes to an hour to get the epoxy to exactly the way you want to look it i want it to look so you don't have to be in a mega rush you know worried about it setting up on you that china coat right there that's what's going to happen it's it's going to set up real quick on you. Yeah, you, you won't have enough working time. That was part of the thing that we developed with some kind of box. We had enough time for the DIYer to work with it and get to it where they want, yet still pure hard and, and a little bit of flex for those overhangs, stuff like that. 24? Yeah, Got it. Hang on to your buckets when mixing, especially when it's cold, it's much thicker. That's how we know that. <laughs> I, have, I have a pair of overalls. I let go and it flew everywhere and they dry and they'll like stand up for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every shirt I own has something on it. And, and Luke and I were in Las Vegas for a, uh, we were going to meet Boys to Men. Anybody know Boys to Men? We made him a wood table. So we were there to deliver it and do a, a little conference. Super cold in Vegas, we messed up. 
and scratched a wood table. So we're like, <laughs> like a TV fell and landed and gouged out our table. So we sanded it. Luke and I are in the trailer doing this in Vegas. In, hey, what's in, up, everybody? In January. <laughs> Luke here is Tony. I'm behind the camera. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm the bucket. I'll try to answer your questions I go like as I uh, come in. All over our trailer, all over the boys' dinner table. And we were about ready to go have fun at the strip, and that evening ended right then and there because then we took isopropyl alcohol to the entire trailer. So hang on to the bucket. Very important. More out there to the Yeah. Yeah, pink. Hey guys, he doesn't have a mic on for uh, the cell phone. Um, so now, Ron is going to scrape that side. Sorry for me. about that. That's an important step because if you don't scrape the bucket like that, and then you scrape that bucket into your piece, hey, blue. you're going to have undermixed resin hanging out right here. And if you don't mix that in thoroughly enough, that can be a soft or sticky spot. Let me know if you guys. So, uh, right there is very important. Start out with can't good foundation, which is your mix and your ratio. You want to be one to one. <coughs> mix for two minutes. Scrape. And then we're going to start putting colors in. <laughs> hey Mitch, say what's up to YouTube. What's up YouTube? Thanks for being here. We are live at Gutted, showing some amazing folks who live that RV micro bus van lifestyle. <laughs> it has been so fun here. This group of folks are so welcoming and kind. Check them out all over the place. I can't even remember everybody I've met. There's so many cool influencers here in the RV world. Check out Gutted Season 2 coming out next year. Gutted Season 1 is out right now on Blank Space. Download that app. You won't regret it. It's an awesome show. Season 2, we've been behind the scenes. Super epic. Stone Coat on reality TV 2023. Now back to work. Say hey, everyone. Hey. Woo. So, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to Stone Coat Counter Dogs on YouTube. We have teach you how to do this so does ron and she has an amazing youtube channel she has hands-on training if you need that extra bit of of help uh she could teach you how to turn this into a business or teach you hands-on how to do this over your kitchen lots of rvs lots and lots and lots yep. of rvs all right Rhonda, i'm going to house. 24, 24 hours 24 so right can you guys yeah it's pretty cold She's going to kind of do this sort of look. I'm going to show you what our most popular color we've ever installed. Everybody requested. I'm so tired of making it, but it's <laughs> very classic and timeless. A little white Carrera marble that you make with your hands. It's pretty simple. We also have an ultimate top coat. That's our final uh, product in our epoxy countertop system, which brings the durability way maximum. It brings the sheen and shine down a little bit, so it's not so reflective. Almost a little more natural looking, in my opinion. But the durability is maximum with that product. That's a, a roll-on. It's a little bit different than epoxy. We use rollers. Uh, we can't show that right now because we're going to have to epoxy dry. But we show you how to do that as well on our YouTube channel. You hogged all the cups, Rhonda, so I'm going to have to mix. Here, you want white? Yes, you. That's my cup. Okay, cool. You want to just share Yep, cool. yep. So add then some I'll add some a little bit more. Y'all, yeah. I'm the worst cook in America. In America, and I can do this. So people ask me, well, exactly how much did you use? And I'm like, oh, I can't. Yeah. So if I can do this, anybody can. And it, numbers are not important. Just get the look that you're going for, and you'll be good. I'm going to take this around and show you guys. So this is just the mica powder, and we're just mixing it. And the Some resins. I'm not in a mega rush. You don't want to leave a giant bucket sitting because the bigger the mass, the blocks are going a little bit. Yeah, Once you get that resin out on your board, it's now about an eighth of an inch thick. That's when you have an hour, hour, ten minutes. You need some in this cold weather, shoot, on two or three hours if you're talking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I'm a little white. I'm from South Texas, so. 
there's, there's been times we did a, a hotel outside under cover, but it was still 100 degrees outside, and uh, we were still able to. Now, what did you put in that? What is that? Is that dye or is that This is white liquid? dye. Okay. It's a white alumalite dye. It's a, it's a liquid tint. Okay. It's very concentrated. Ron, you just used the brown version. The brown? The brown, okay. We have, well, what, 15 colors of it right here. Okay. Some of them are wild and crazy, but you know, the white is everyone's favorite because it's subtle, it's classic, it's in their kitchen. But you get in the shower, you can start having staking pieces like Igor's. And Casey did in that shower the orange. Ooh, that looks sweet. Is that better than the, than the powder stuff? It's yeah. different. They fight okay. each other. You want to use them together on the same piece because okay. then like, you will miss isopropyl alcohol on top of that project. And you'll, we'll do that. We'll demonstrate that. And it creates cells. And the dyes and the metallics will fight each other to be on top. And you go, how did that happen? It's the two additives. So there's also a method of pouring this out called the, the dirty pour or exotic pour where we tint all these colors. Then we pour them back in the big bucket. And then we pour that out as one. Like if, if you're nervous about doing this, that's pretty much the most simple, well, you're gonna see simple ways. It's all pretty much simple. Just start out with a nice color scheme and you're, you're headed in the right track. The epoxy's gonna do a lot of the hard work for you. How are you gonna not make this fall off the edge? So it is gonna fall off the edge. <laughs> it is gonna fall off. But that's why we do that three ounces per square foot. We'll spread it and it's gonna self-level. So if I added, oh. if I added 10 ounces per square foot, it's going to self level to three ounces. Oh, I thought it was going to be an edge like a. Not necessarily. On the dirty pour or exotic pour method, you will mix up a little bit more. But at that point, we'll put a tape down because uh, we're adding much more material. We're going about six to seven ounces per square foot. And, and then we pour that out. And we don't want it to stretch and fall off, so we tape it and hold it there oh, for a okay. couple hours. The epoxy then thickens. Can we peel that tape? And I'll do it. Just like tape is tape? And we'll just do a couple rows right around the perimeter. Wow. So when we're doing this sort of method and we're not pouring in a bunch, there's no need to, to do that. We don't need to take the edges. Ooh, I just need that. I need that. Uh, that's white metallic, yep. white dye. So I have really opaque. Yeah, I'll just give a tiny bit. This is really, really opaque. Hey, Nelly, great question. Yes. Now I'm going to make just like skim milk version. And the two whites together are amazing. And I learned that from Ron in the last hands on training class. And you can do so it for the showers the as well right? with yeah, we foam panels, yep. which is nice yeah. because yeah. it's much lighter. And now he's making um, skim milk. <laughs> I believe, only, I believe a gallon of epoxy only weighs um, about nine pounds, can, so uh, huge a weight difference, of quartzite or which is quartz nice. or something, and you feel like you can look down into the piece. That's how we achieve that is by using different shades, different uh, amounts of color, even clear. We'll add clear to the piece as well, and all of that as we meld it together will cause it to look like like let like bubbles. Okay, go ahead. You want to start? I gotta, yeah, I gotta get some black mixed up okay. and some diamond dust. All right, so what we're gonna so do So you guys first, aren't gonna be able to see um, Rhonda really, really too well. And if y'all wanna come join, come one, around one second, let me get a little yeah, bit closer. Yeah, you guys can come on up. Yeah. So, hey, hey, can you smell anything? Does it stink at all? No. no. So there are epoxies that are toxic. Right, I you'll get, need a respirator. I get hammered every time I do a YouTube video. Is that why I'm not wearing a respirator? And it's because our product doesn't I'm going to hold it. Let me know if I'm okay. jumping too much. A respirator because there are no. So you can see how easy this is, guys. I'm just literally putting Okay. So that was our dark bronze. And I'm going to come in now. That was a mica powder. Now, this is a dye that we just talked about. I'm going to come in here with this dye. Now, you can add glitter to this. You can add all kind of fun things. Now, if it weren't as hot, I mean, as cold as it was, it is, this epoxy would really be kind of flowing a little bit better. But we're going to just... I'm going to warm it up a little bit for you. Thank you. So, question, you painted that surface down. Yes. Hey, what's up, Teresa? And you can use any color depending on what kind of look that you're going for. Woo, look this at that. is copper. Now, this is the same recipe that I used did that piece that you see over 
every one of our on our YouTube channel, we will do each week we will do a different finish. And we kind of show you guys different ways to create realistic looking pieces. Hey Mitch. Alright, now I'm gonna add my phone, a little uh, bit of Mitch's very favorite phone color. Tripod right there. Can you grab my tripod? The blue Hey guys, it's gonna get jumpy for a second. I'm gonna put this back on a tripod. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm just kinda It's very hard to catch the box There we go. Sorry guys, no more movement. Oh, right on. Yeah. So, guys, like I said, you do not want to do this in really cold weather because this would be normally really flowing over really pretty for us. Oh, yeah, give me some white. That's why I'm short. Yes. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of white to this as well. I knew I was missing something. You would mix it into your epoxy. See how we just sprinkle it in? I'm getting clunky and it just did not look right. So you can come in here and add, like if I wanted to add a black vein, let's say I wanted to get some black veins in here. I can add some black veins. You can add white. I'm going to get my epoxy pouring out too so I can warm it up on Yeah. Yeah, sorry guys, no mic today. We're uh, currently filming this like I said, guys, we are for a later video on my other camera, and that camera is the one that has the mic. Let me see. And you show this on your channel, right? Yes, I did. This exact finish is that, but it's not quite flowing. Where's the, the oh, really cool. torch? We're going to do more demos tomorrow, too, when the weather's supposed to be going. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys really quick how to get that fractured look. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fracture this. Oh, uh, you can grab me the alcohol. All right, guys, I'm gonna spray paint, and it's gonna be kind of flowing this way. I don't want you guys to get in the middle of this, but I'm gonna show you a fun way to create kind of a granite look. This is alcohol. 
91% isopropyl alcohol. It's not diluted or anything. It's just nope, straight. it's okay. straight 91. Now, you don't want to use anything less than 91. 70% has way too much water. Yes. It can create, create. All right, so you don't want, yes. So you don't, you don't want to judge this immediately because it takes a little bit of time. What's happening is the faculty is really mad at the spray paint, so they're fighting, and that's what's creating this look when you get over here. Thanks for so helping out today, I Erica. I really appreciate it. That process that I did on this piece here, and so you can see that, well, because it's cold, it's not reacting quite as fast, but... You can come in with so many um, different things. No, these pieces breaking. aren't going in any of the projects. Kind of really One of the builds in the show, um, the they did a, a foam epoxy shower. <laughs> Team RV and did an epoxy shower. Really so when the season two um, debuts, I believe in March, you'll see uh, you'll see that piece. These are just, we're just doing demos today for these people so they can see, you know, and learn. Alright guys, um, this piece is done. I'm going to give you a quick flyover and then we're going to go back to Mitch. Sounds good? Let me know if you have any questions and uh, I'll answer them the best, best that I can. And you don't know, if you get, you have five, six hours, if, if not longer, to pull gnats out without, or bugs, whatever, without it even at like a high point or something. Rhonda, that looks great. Well, you know, it's cold. It's, cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying. When it's you see on the hard. YouTube it's channel, you see it's much, it's different when you're in the right environment. What do you guys think of this piece? You could, but I just did alcohol, so I, I want to keep my eyebrows. <laughs> this is a nice group of people here. Yeah. I'd like to really fun time out here in Missouri. Let me know where you're tuning in from if you just hopped in the live. Uh, we're here at Gutted near Kansas City filming season two, and some of the teams for the reality TV show are using our products and uh, we wanted to come tag along and so oh sorry Rhonda and so yeah it's been a fun time the teams are taking a break today they've been do working 16 hour days um, doing the build so they needed some rest so today we're taking advantage of that and uh, making some stuff excuse me sorry man sorry ma'am <laughs> Oregon City, Oregon, Jersey, Ohio, Dallas, Trinidad, welcome, welcome, hi from Ireland, hey. Now we got Oregon in the house. Hey, what's up, man? Houston in the house, Valencia, Chattanooga, South Africa. What's the chances of getting a sample kit? Hey, Dave, um, email Mitch, M I T C H, at polytech.com, P O L Y T E K.com, and uh, ask him if you just, you know, send your questions to Mitch. That's Mitch right there. And he'll let you know if we can hook you up. Branson, Missouri. Hey, we're out in uh, uh, Smith, Smithville, Missouri, currently. Hey, Mitch, what are you working on? White Carrera Marble. White dye, white metallic, a little bit of diamond dust, and then I'm going to bring in some black. Here, right, It's, yeah, it's, okay. So I want you guys to really come here and look just for a, little, a quick second. So if you guys want to see um, this same recipe that Mitch is doing right now, our last video, the how to make a white kitchen, um, is the same exact recipe. Mitch, do we ship to Puerto Rico? We ship to Puerto Rico. 
The answer is yes. <laughs> Did you guys see Rhonda jump? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, for all the movement. I'm trying to. It's really uneven ground right here. Uh, how's everyone doing? Do we have any questions so far? What's going on? Let me know in the comments. Comments. Hey, Portland in the house. What up? Oh, that's awesome. You're doing your countertops in two weeks? What uh, are you going to be doing? Where's Kenny? Kenny is back in Texas. He couldn't come along, unfortunately. He's holding down the fort. Hey, what's up, Jason? Thanks, Eric. Erica. I really appreciate it. Sorry guys, we're looking. Oh, you guys, how do you guys think of uh, the new Stone Coat shirt? Mitch ripping the orange today. I burn all the time my food, my pots, and I'll put it directly on there. You're good to go, I promise. All right, so that right there. And here, I'm gonna show you guys the new, uh, the new logo. What do you guys think of the new logo? Not bad, right? <laughs> plywood, yeah, you can go over plywood. See the difference? That's really hot. I'm trying to keep you warm. Okay, y'all guys Woo! come look, lean in here really quick. Oh, well, now we right sprinkled there. some black on here. Don't that yeah, was that's by accident. Still but black. look at this right here. Does this not look like a high end piece of oh, yeah. of quartz or marble? Uh, yeah. yeah. And all I we used was our hands. Yeah. Used the diamond dust. You yeah, can and you can see the diamond see dust in it. Shine. Isn't that pretty? You can't have too much diamond dust. Oh, that's really pretty actually. <laughs> So you can see the epoxy is not flammable. You don't want to really try to burn it. But hey. Look at this. Look at this diamond. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, Pamela. Thank you so much. That sounds awesome. Do you know what... Um, what you want your kitchen countertops to look like? What colors are you gonna do? And that's a great pro tip from Artist Till Death, guys. If you're planning on doing this for the first time in your kitchen or your bathrooms, uh, try it on a sample board. Um, you know, practice. Practice makes, makes perfect, and um, you'll definitely learn a lot on a small sample board, which will really help you when you go to tackle oh, that kitchen. If you guys have um, want to get more info about our products, we do have a lot of videos on here explaining everything, but also just check out our website, StokeCutterTops.com. And, uh, or you can give us a ring. Call us. We have customer service line and they'd be happy to help you. I don't want to just keep it in one line. So I'll pick it up. Well, we'll just walk it back and forth pretty much. Yeah, give me nice. Oh, and then we'll and then we'll blast it with the alcohol. Well, my problem is figuring out what colors go together. Um, check out some of our videos. We've done some really wild colors, and uh, more often than not, you'll find a look that you like. And then uh, just practice with those colors. And if you guys want to see this on a larger scale, our last video that we uploaded, Mitch did an install, and the whole kitchen was this. So check that video out. Yeah. But it was 60 square feet. Yes. And the customer's countertop was low. I built it up so it was a huge one. 
That was a really good install, so you guys should check that video out. Now remember guys, you can stop at every, any stage, you can stop. We have the disease where we can't stop. <laughs> so we always want to go to the next level. So I'm going to come in here with isopropyl, and I'm going to hit that, and just look. I'm just going to hit a little piece so y'all see the difference. Now look, look at how that alcohol reacted and caused almost a granite. I don't know if you guys want me to come in closer on the piece. It almost looks a little too uh miguel the some kids come with a, a lot of this stuff but as far as the bonding primer or any small tools uh, those are separate products they all don't come in a singular kit so um but when you go to our website you can add that all to your card and get out one time yeah get closer okay one second guys Hey, not optimal conditions, and these things are still turning out pretty. Yeah, they are. So I want to show you on mine, guys, a really fun thing to do. Let's Protecting say this with my life. that I want to create something that looks like it has real traction, real like traction. Okay? Have y'all ever played with silly string when y'all were younger? This is so much fun. So like our three, we did something wrong. That's okay. I did that on purpose. All right. So, oh, Rhonda's gonna. Hold. Ooh. Rhonda's doing marble spray. One second, guys. So, that right there, you can paint your board black. We have a white marble spray. It's like silly string, pretty much. Let that rain down. So, I'll, I'll aim it up high. And let nature take her down. Let it dry. Oh, okay. clear over that and so is that top. sort of like so easy. Is, but it's and just that fun. that method is really handy for like an integrated sink, right? Because if you're trying to go into a, a solid surface or cultured marble that the sink is attached. What do you guys think of the uh, marble spray? It's kind of hard to see. If you use that first, you know. Oh, there we go. Now you can see it. Or white, use silver or black or white marble spray. Mm -hmm. Let it dry, you ever put it add clear. Mm -hmm. Now no colors are going to go. It's all going to sit right there. Totally <laughs> kind of I have a student that did two or three restaurants. And all they did was come in and paint all their tables white. They sprayed this, covered it with two coats. Mitch over there doing the Italian drip. And they called it a day, and they were beautiful. So it just creates a really cool look. And it's super simple. Um, and now I went over wet epoxy, which you can do as well. But going over just the substrate first and then coming with straight clear epoxy Pretty piece. is really cool. Now, you too. This was crushed. better conditions. The 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 view, it would flow. Yes. 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 You, it would all flow. Big Mitch with the love. Pretty. It's not wanting to flow. Subscribe. Like Ring the bell to get notified every time we have a new video. Guys, got any questions? I love it. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Who wants the pieces? Me. Oh, I know. <laughs> 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 Tomorrow, he's cure right. I'll have him out. All Mitch said was subscribe. And we will give some before. stuff away. We're going to give away some resin tomorrow. We're going to give away some colors. Yeah, yeah. I got a QR code over at my booth. If you sign up for our mailing list, I will not going to sell your email. I'm going to send you coupons. I'm going to send you our videos. And you have a chance to win one of three. That's a great pro tip, Clifton. Kiss method. I'll be there pretty much all day. Okay. We'll be back and forth in yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Stone Coat yeah. booth and all that. Which one do you like that? To... Which one? I can't tell you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the sample he showed me. He put like a wood. It's like a wood on the edge of the pink hole. I love this. Yeah, it's so Oh, so the way I do it, right? I, I cut out the, <laughs> the, the templates, yeah. which I'll dry fit, and then I'll plant my thing after, like, like before. So if my phone is here, like, yeah, I'll you plant my trim. Like, that is exactly this right, but it's just I just that video. Okay. Because yeah. you, um, really like you can do it on MDF. Yeah. Yeah. Your buses. Just to make it look like 
Well, Justin, with the with the waterproof membrane membrane question, well, the membrane is going to go on the bottom, and usually when you get to the step of doing the membrane, the top would already be done. So I'm not sure if I 100% understand that question. But but uh, Vamp and Erica say yes, so so I guess listen to them. <laughs> Do you guys want to see um, the white piece again or uh, leave it here or what's up? Uh, clarify, do I need to do the undercoat on? Oh, uh, you don't have to. You can. That is up to you. We went. We started going with the Ardex besides um, the Red Guard because uh, the Ardex dries black. And so at that point, that way, you know, we didn't have to paint it because it just, it's just black. But... Um, you don't have to, but most people do. Show them close-ups. All right. I'm going to take this off of the stand. I'm going to just go with my hands and give you a flyover. What do you guys think? I'm trying to stay still, but a little jumpy. I'm sorry. This one looks good. Look at the the selling. That white selling looks amazing. Oh, look at this. Do you, do you guys yeah, see the, the diamond dust? You'll be able to see. We're fixing a poster. So, this bottle did both of these. Okay, okay. And that's 60. This looks good. What do you guys think of this? No, this right here, no, that's together. This is 64 bucks for both. So, so this was a white dye, white metallic, diamond dust, black metallic, and a little bit of spurting of isopropyl alcohol. And then he just melted it with his hands. Yeah, I would love to show you guys the showers that we poured yesterday, but unfortunately, I can't um, can't show you the final pieces yet until the TV show releases. Unfortunately. Oh, Rhonda over here getting crazy. <laughs> and I'm gonna hit it with some alcohol here in just a minute. Nice. No, doesn't. We're gonna apply Is that a blue? Is that blue earth? It is blue earth. That yeah. looks good. So by by chopping it and moving it a little bit, we're kind of creating a different look. Enough of my talk and watch the good stuff. Erica's laughing because she said you don't know how to walk away. I know, Erica. Erica, the resin is like 41 degrees. It's insane. <laughs> It is. It's like 50 degrees I'm out just, here. I'm, you know why I'm doing this? Because I don't get to play with epoxy in cold weather much. Right, so different. I'm actually doing my own research here to see how long I can play with it. So, 
Sorry, guys. I know. I, I bet the working time is increased now. Whoa. Never done that. You could probably work for like two, three hours at that point That's almost. What I'm thinking. So, so by, it, by causing something. some design changes, I'm kind of wondering if, if those are going to stay. I mean, like, that looks almost like hey, uh, oh, Mitch, question okay. from Dan. He says, What's the optimal pour window temperature for this epoxy? I love 65. I love pouring at about 70 to 75 degrees. Perfect primo. In the summer, I'll go more 68, 70 because I don't like to be hot. <laughs> but this is cold. I mean, look how pretty it is. And I'm not kidding. It's pretty cold. Uh, way too cold, but it's working. I wouldn't want to do this for customers. Yeah, it was, but I don't know how to stop it. Is the cure time will be extended. It's going to be soft and cure in the end. So really, best case scenario, guys, above 65 degrees for the first three days of cure. Awesome. Thank you, Mitch. Yeah. Any more questions, let me know. On the top, and I want to try to do one more thing. I want to see if I can actually fracture it again. Thank you. I'm going to warm this up and do the alcohol. I do. Who wants to do some of this tomorrow? You guys want to do hands-on? Yeah. All right. Well, we have lots of resin. I made tons of sample boards. Let's have a play day tomorrow. Do you guys, uh, let me know in the comments, guys, if you want us to go live again tomorrow here on YouTube. Does anybody have something that we could go coat in your trailer? Ooh. So or something from oh, this, right is, there. this is called a DI don't. DI don't? <laughs> <laughs> We're fixing you. That's us tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys, we're gonna fix that. There we go. I am using that. I love that. Hey guys, sorry. There's no mic attached to the cell phone right now. Uh, because I have the mic attached to my camera. Yes. So my apologies. Thank you guys for bearing with me. Whoa. What do you guys think of this piece? playing with some different. I'm gonna fix it in a free I like I, I like the the fractures that are between the striations. It's crazy. What do you guys think of this? I'd probably sand them a little more smooth, but you don't have to get them perfect. Um, what we'll do is we'll just do a thick coat. Okay. Oh, we're still going? Hey, I'm going to go in this cold weather to see how long that's going to be. If you guys have countertops, we'll go countertops. So don't judge me. I'll make them tomorrow if you're down. All right, I'm going to come over here and refract this a little bit. I have MDF, I have everything to use to make countertops. I know. I keep wanting to do fractures. Well, I'm trying to see how long I can play with this, guys. So don't judge me. And when I'm torching, I'm kind of... Sorry, guys. I was checking the battery on my phone. If it, if it glitched. I'm an inch or two up. You don't have to go real fast. And I just work my way down the project. Still it is still fracturing. That's yeah, crazy. I thought it would fracture less almost because it wouldn't move. Yeah. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh. 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 So when that alcohol yeah, that evaporates, so cool. then yeah, you're leaving that mica powder, which is really pretty as well. Just cut it over. And this was groups of MDF. The baby of MDF. Look at this one again. I, I cut the piece of MDF. I cut one inch strips. I then uh, used wood glue. Oh dear, I just touched it. I, I used rookie wood mistake, glue. rookie mistake. I wood glued that, pin, pin, uh, pin nailed it with 18 gauge. 
Uh, and then we have a seam right here, right? Yep. I take Bondo, real thin coat. Okay. Get that Bondo on there. That oh, that's good. Minutes, what do you guys think? Sand that back. Uh, and then I router the top and bottom with, this is a quarter inch round over bit. You can do eighth inch round over, but you do not want a 90. It'll, it'll hey, what's up, not Evelyn? Flow. Right. So, so you need some sort of edge so that it can flow. Mm -hmm. So if you have existing laminate, laminate router is really easy. You can go right up to it, your router, round it over. It hey guys, it's gonna get dry for a second. I'm gonna put this back on the tripod. Got any more comments? Any questions, guys? Thanks for watching. Uh, We're, let's do it. Let's do a little Q and A. I'm gonna uh, yeah. ask so him right now. Oh, here. Well, uh, ask them if if they want to see. Right now, you can watch season one. Super legendary, these guys. It's three teams. They don't know each other. They show up. They have a gutted RV minibus or van. They have a shipping container full of building materials that they have no idea what's in there. So we are lucky enough to be invited to to donate some resin for them. So we have foreign epoxy, countertop epoxy, all the colors in each container. That is We were lucky enough to one of the was actually made a shower. It does. And you can know as well was actually playing with it because I yeah guy oh yeah Th these people out here are great guys if you want to also follow a along with us while we are here make sure to follow us on instagram check out the story i've been sharing a bunch of stuff um with the gutted instagram page that way uh you can kind of see what they're up to also go to gutted event.com to learn more about what's going on and all the creators that are involved in this we have about 75 content creators coming out in the next couple of days that we will be collabing with. And so you guys are gonna stay tuned for a bunch of really fun content. Yeah, download Blank Space if you wanna watch season one. It's an app. Yeah, you can do it over laminate. Yeah, we're still live. We're gonna be live for a while. Guys, thanks for uh, joining us. We'll be around tomorrow and Sunday. You got any questions? Thank you. That was great. Let's take you two. Just make sure because you're not mic'd up, you know what I mean? All right, guys, we're gonna take you over to the film set, behind the scenes, don't tell anyone. Ooh, Mitch, can you grab the camera? Or do you wanna take the live? You take the live, you take the camera. All right. All right, big Mitch behind the camera, let's go. So check it out, they have this giant tent. I wish the camera crew was here. Today is their day off. They've been working three straight days. They're going 16 hour days. It's insane. Um, it's really cool watching what these guys are doing. They don't know each other. There's the RV. There is, ah, sorry for the volume guys. It was busy there. So I hope you can hear better, but there's the micro bus. There's the van. Guys, there's your shipping containers full of goodies. Luke, you got a light? I do on my phone. All right. You can't tell anybody. You can't see the, the shower, though. I want to show them. I know. Damn it. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Well, let's go have some fun. There's the... They were... This thing was 
completely empty, like down to the fiberglass. There's one of the team leaders. Yo, what's up? Say what's up to YouTube. What's up, YouTube? How you doing? Pretty dang good. <laughs> That's what they say anyway. Like 17 hour days. Planning, bro. I love it. All right. Uh, Luke, should we show them how I fit in this RV? Yeah. All right. Check it out, guys. <laughs> big Mitch, a little too big. Uh, here, one sec. Let me uh, fix the legs. Somebody's gonna yell at me. The They're gonna think I'm working in here. Like, You're on. Oh, you're not allowed to be here. All right. So this was Bear Guys. They've done everything. Let us know what's going on back there. So back here, um, hey YouTube, don't be telling anybody about this, all right? So basically we're gonna have benches around the back side of here. We're actually gonna use the original cushion from 1985. Um, and that's kind of where this aesthetic was born. Um, the table is gonna drop down in the center here. Might do an epoxy table in the middle, just whoop, saying, whoop. not sure, um, but it's gonna drop down in the middle and Dick and Nancy, our clients, are going to be able to have a full queen size bed back here but also in the front there's going to be a queen size bed for the kiddos and that's where we got the flame cutouts and the googly eyes and all that stuff or if dick is upsetting nancy that's that's the dog house yes so exactly all right let me show you the shower thanks man yeah no worries appreciate you there's going to be the shower folks that's where that I can't show you the finished product, but that's where that shower is going to get installed. They've red guarded that, so it is ready for pretty much tile, which then you'll silicone your foam panels in and be off to the races. All right, let's go check out that bus. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no mm -hmm. worries. Yeah, and then they gave me like an old... This thing, I'm going to make All right, sorry for the rough ride, man. I was adjusting the, the tripod in here. Here's the school, folks. So cool. Now this thing's legendary. Look at the lid. Woo! Woo! Just a regular old school bus. Hey, this is more my style. I can actually stand up and breathe. I had to hold my breath in that last one or I'd have blown out the fiberglass wall. All right, here is a tiled shower. Real pretty. Isn't that crazy in a bus? That's where the bed's gonna be? Guys, guess why they put holes all over that? Let me know, comment below. I might send you something cool if you guess correctly. What's up, Luke? What up? All right, so they have two more 17 hour days to complete this. So let's go check out the van. This has been so cool. I wish the camera crew was here. They have like Doc Ock camera rigs where they barely even have to hold anything. Oh, sick. That's storage for the bike. How are you? That's cool. You're pretty. Hi. Here's the van. How pretty. Do you red guard or waterproof in RVs when using foam? Yeah, you sure do. You're going to want that shower ready for tile pretty much. Uh, and then you could silicone your foam walls right on there. Guys, this looks cool. So look at this. They take out the windows and put this wood on the outside so they can lay that way. You gain, you know, three or four inches on this side, three or four inches on that side. That's, you know, another eight inches of head and foot room. That's really smart. Way cool. I love the lid. That would have been. So yeah, that's the outside of that. How cool is that? And they do that, it kind of looks cool in the van, but it gives them extra room. Now, the piece de la resistance. Boom, a wood stove, what? And a chimney. <laughs> How sick is that? Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> Y'all seen the Nutty Professor? When he, grew, when he gets enormous and eats the baby chicken wing, 
This is like me <laughs> with a baby chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was too fun. All right, guys. Let me know if you got any questions. <laughs> hey, you seen the Nutty Professor, Luke? Remember when he gets enormous? The clump? And he eats a baby chicken leg, the turkey leg, and it's like a little baby? Give me fire. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. Gutted season two. You have been behind the scenes. That's a little treat. That's a pretty cool logo. Uh, thanks for being here, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm about to end this thing. Want me to put it on you? It's been pretty fun. Yeah, sure. Let me know if you've got any questions. We're about out of here. We gotta go clean up that epoxy because we're about to do another demo, right? So, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, I don't wanna leave yet, though. Well, we don't have to. We can keep going live. Well, here, how about this? Uh, guys, Oh, doing it. don't do it. Doing it. No, they're going to watch the video. The, the, the panel could be there. No, they. all we can't show is the finished van. We were told we can't show the finished van. That's not the finished van. Right, guys? All right, here we go. Wait up. Cool. All right. Here we go. I'm on a secret mission. How cool would this be? Like, they had no idea. We already heard a bunch of drama. Somebody got booted off the show. It's way cool. All right, here we go. We had to bring him in here and put a heater because it got so cold. So their color scheme is orange. Crazy, right? The lighting's so bad, I'm in the back of a container. Oh, what's happening? All right, I gotta get out of here before I'm busted. Yes, shh. I live life in the gray area. All right, guys. Rhonda was out here with us. It has been so fun. You did so good today. Thank you so much. Guys, we're out here. Say what's up to Luke, the man behind the camera. You got this. Nice sweatshirt, bro. Guys, what do you think? Of the orange new logo. Can you see that? Here. Woo! <laughs> <Ow. laughs> that hurt. But that's okay. All right, let's go get cleaned up. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had some fun. And until next time from Stelco Countertops, you got this, and we'll see you on the next video, on the next live, all that good stuff. Let's go live tomorrow. Let's do it. We're going to do all sorts of hands-on stuff. Are we YouTube or Facebook? This YouTube. Is YouTube. This is YouTube. So, yeah, guys, yeah. we'll put out an announcement. We'll shoot out an email or whatever. So, uh, subscribe right now. You'll get and get notified. We're going to go live tomorrow. We'll do a little hands-on with all those folks. Yeah. I'll try to go that. live on my station. Yeah. My yeah, channel is, too. RK3 Designs. Yep. On, 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 on YouTube? Well, not Facebook. I'm in Facebook jail. Not tomorrow. You're almost free, girl. Oh, yeah, I'm almost free. What time is it? You're free. I'm free. <laughs> you can pass go and collect $200. All right, all right.